What's going on guys welcome back to another POCO F1 video and in today's video we are going to be taking a look at how you can turn your POCO phone F1 into a completely Pixel 3 with almost everything working from the Pixel 3. So if you remember my Pixel 3 camera video like almost two weeks back I was telling you guys that I will make a complete guide on this thing but I wanted to make it as stable as possible and you guys get updates with it and also it's easier to install because many of you guys do have a trouble on installing this newer kind of ROM so just wanted to make this extremely easy that's why I took my time and and this is now extremely stable with almost everything working. So as this is a Snapdragon 845 phone, it's actually faster cause it has a 6 gigs of RAM and again it's a 1080p display so it's actually faster than the actual Pixel 3 which is again amazing and you get almost all the features from the Pixel 3 rather than that squeeze features and stuff like almost everything is present. So as you can see this is your home screen looks extremely beautiful with that notch. I mean it's not that obnoxious or huge it's just almost perfect. My favorite one would be OnePlus 6 but this is again good looking. This is your dock here you have the updated apps such as for example the phone app now it's completely white as you can see gets a much more smoother UI. I mean it's an extremely faster phone but the app opening times are extremely great considering there is no kind of external optimization in it but the ROM is extremely fast and the device is just powerful. Now also with this beautiful experience you do get some home screen features such as these wallpapers and you also get some quick shortcuts such as for example if you are sending messages to a certain WhatsApp contact it will show you over here well always you can turn it off cause privacy concerns. So you can just always go to home screen settings for that. But if you go to the wallpapers, as you can see developer has added the Pixel 2018 wallpapers over here. So you basically get all the wallpapers in the standard format which is again good if you don't want to waste your battery. Which is an extremely nice touch that I love but if you want to be just a bit flashy, scroll down and you will get the live wallpapers. Now all these wallpapers are dynamic and they react to your touch. As you can see if you touch over here it reacts and it just looks amazing. It doesn't lag at all. At least for the Snapdragon 845 phones they are not an issue. This reminds me of the Pi Beta, again it's completely dynamic, again you have Bloom Cloud which reacts to your touch, very subtle change but surely noticeable, then you have a bigger version of it with the Bloom Sky, scrolling down you have Bubble Up Lemon, again the lemons just react to your touch, nothing new, I mean the effects on these things are looking extremely heavy but the way GPU handles it without draining battery, then you have New York City Skyline which reacts to the daytime as you can see. Then you have San Francisco, again it's dark right now so I guess it's using the current time of the phone. Then you have light the way which I don't know which place is this but it turns the wallpapers according to the day time. So for example now it's dark then it again turns to the sunlight and then you have tropical voyage which is again just a nice blue wallpaper. And if you pay close attention the boat is actually moving. Now if you remember the past year's Pixel 2 wallpapers there were cars moving now this year's there's a boat moving just one. As you can see you do get a collection of apps over here, the GFX tool, QQ and PUBG mobile beta is not actually present over here, I was just testing on it and it just works amazing, the performance that this phone offers just mind blowing. Then on the apps you just get your updated clock, as you can see the UI is now much more plush as you can see, it's grey rather than being black or purple, then you have updated contacts as you can see. I mean as this is the LCD phone and of a newer generation thanks to that notch, it really looks beautiful like look at it. Then let's just go to the settings. So as you can see settings have been updated and all your biometrics including your face unlock is actually present over here but just the face unlock the IR camera won't work. It's just that the thing with the custom ROMs. Blame Xiaomi for not giving the complete sources but let's just take a look. So again connections, apps and notifications pretty much the same if you go to the battery. I mean I said pretty much the same but if you're shifting from MIUI this would be one of the huge changes that you will actually face in terms of UI and you will love it trust me. Going to the battery manager as you can see you get tons of options for conserving battery on your phone. It's just amazing. You can enable battery percentage right here. Again it fits in perfect over there. Then going to the display you have night light again works adaptive brightness all the stuff that you need font size display size again everything that you need screen saver ambient display now if you're wondering ambient display it just pops up your notification once no it's a fully working ambient display from pixel 3. Now I'll show you that later on now you also have tap to wake device theme so you can switch it for dark and light. Now the dark theme completely turns the phone dark. Well as you can see it didn't do nothing over here cause I have to do one update but once you update the phone it will completely darken the whole system but you can just set it to automatic and then let's just get to the ambient display so you can just bring up your phone and it just activates as you can see you have that animation over here you can quickly unlock your phone like that it's just beautiful and it doesn't cause a burning cause it's barely for 13 to 15 seconds and then digital well-being so if you don't already know this is a newer thing from google if you want to brief of where your battery is going so for example i'm using this set of apps my play store has been taken a lot 
as you can see when and where pretty great you also have some options thanks to digital well-being where you can grayscale your phone well it's not a huge thing as this is a lcd panel but if you are doing a lot of reading and if you hate just colors popping up once in a while you can just turn this on and as this is an official pixel experience you also get system updates so you can quickly jump over here get add-ons such as magics which is root if you do want to use your banking apps, just don't install this. Then again, you can directly update your ROM through over here. So security updates, again, latest. You have quite a lot of features over here, such as guest chats from Pixel 3. So you can quickly switch to a normal navbar just like that. Here is your new recent apps panel. Looks again smooth and amazing. You can directly copy any kind of text through here. Like I can just select start chat and I can just copy it directly again amazing but you can also use the newer gestures which are much handy i mean they don't make a sense cause there is a still navbar but you can just quickly drag up for all your recent apps panel or you can drag it all the way for your apps that's pretty quick or you can just swipe around over here in order to switch apps which is again handy and that's basically it for the features. The UI is basically the same as MIUI has copied the Android Pie. For example, the volume panel, as you can see, looks extremely good. Then again, you have your near quick settings panel. You can expand it for more toggles. And lastly, the camera. The camera is from Pixel 3. Now, almost everything is working over here for the ported mode to the HDR enhanced and HDR plus. But the night side is yet to be fixed. You can always use it to enhance your picture quality in night light. But the actual night feature is not yet fixed. So just wait for that. And all the features such as 4K recording are over here and they just work amazing. And then let's just get to the installation of this ROM. So for the installation of this thing, it's extremely easy. You just need an unlocked bootloader on your Poco Phone F1. Now, if you're wondering, you would lose your warranty. You can just relock your bootloader anytime. And it just takes three days rather than compared to half a month of some of the Xiaomi phones. And then let's just jump onto your PC. Now, once you're onto your PC, you will need these three files. Yep, just these three files. I have made it extremely easy. So if you like my effort, just go to the button down there and make sure that it says subscribe bed, not just subscribe in red. Then just grab your phone and hold on your power and volume down at the same time to go to the fast boot mode. Just what you did while unlocking your phone. As you can see, we are into the fast boot mode. Just connect it. Then go to the ADB folder right here. Open CMD and type in fast boot devices. Hit enter. As you can see, it says a random number and fast boot. That means our device has been successfully detected. Then type in fast boot flash recovery and then just drag in this recovery over here. Hit enter and our phone has been successfully installed with a custom recovery. So again, grab your phone, hold on your power and volume up at the same time until it shows the POCO logo. Once you're into the custom recovery, just go to wipe, format data, type in yes. This is in order to remove the 8.1 encryption from MIUI 9. And speaking of MIUI 9, we would be getting MIUI 10 probably next week. So if you want a full coverage on that, be sure to subscribe again in that I said. We are always lit at the latest content over here. Just hit enter. Just like that, our partitions have been formatted. Just go to home again, go to wipe, advanced wipe, dial away cache system data. No need of internal storage or the micro SD card. Swipe to wipe, done. Go to home, go to this PC, search for your phone, Poco Phone F1. Just drag in this pixel experience file right over here. Once the file has been copied, just go to your phone back again, go to install, select the pixel experience, confirm to flash. And that's basically one file. It has everything like the Pixel 3 camera and the live wallpapers, which is just amazing on the developer's part. And that was pretty quick. So swear to unlock, reboot system, do not install. And congratulations, you have successfully installed a Pixel 3 system on your Poco Phone F1. Now the first boot won't actually take a while as this is a Snapdragon 845 phone with 6 gigs of RAM. It's just blazing fast. And again, the phone is back up in under two minutes, which is blazing fast for a 1.5 GB of ROM. Just amazing. So let's just quickly set up this phone. So start, skip, skip, continue, next, more, more, accept, skip, not now, skip anyway. And that's basically it. That's your setup. Now this is the first setup. Now we'll set up the pixel setup of it. So over here, let's just connect to the Wi-Fi. Devang Patil, it's preparing. New update also available because I installed a later version of it. New changes, so added FM support, again amazing. Added Aptex HD support, again amazing. Like our device has been blessed with one of the best developers in the game, Abhishek Agarwal, which has previously blessed Redmi Note 4 and now is using a Poco Phone F1. So finishing the setup, start, skip, don't copy, skip, skip anyway, skip, not now, skip anyway, 
no thanks all set and yeah guys that's pretty much it on how you can install pixel 3 rom on your poco phone f1 i hope you guys enjoyed if you found this helpful again drop a like and see you guys in the next one peace